This one is by far one of the easiest ones, especially if you've already been to prom and you have a prom dress. So all you need is a prom dress, as you can see, and a crown or a tiara or whatever, and you're a prom queen. This is really fun because I felt like a princess and it's fun to dance in this dress. <laughs> For this one, you're definitely going to need some red lipstick because this is Cheryl Blossom from Riverdale. I love Riverdale, so if you guys do too, totally recommend this one. If you have long red hair and you like Riverdale, you should totally be Cheryl Blossom. It would look so good. I obviously don't. So I just put my hair to one side of my head because she usually does that. And then she always wears thigh high boots and she's always wearing skirts and lace. And I feel like the leather jacket just kind of went with it. This one is so easy, really comfortable, and kind of funny. So this is Sleeping Beauty. I kept the thigh high boots on. Then I just put a robe on and a crown on, and you know, you're Sleeping Beauty. Also, you can put red lipstick on or do your makeup, like really glam. Oh, also, act really sleepy. And there you go, you're Sleeping Beauty. This one is awesome if you're already a cheerleader or if your sister was a cheerleader or I don't know, your friend or anything. It's really simple. You just put the costume on and act very peppy. And I love this one. This one's from my mom from the 80s and so it's really cool. I'm pretty sure throughout my life, I've been a cheerleader like twice for Halloween. So I guess you could say I like this costume. Okay, so this one was really easy for me because we've had this like Hogwarts coat since we were little, me and my sisters, because my mom made it for us. It's really easy though, you just take a black coat and you put felt in the design of the Hogwarts like pendant thing, you know, and then just wear like a schoolgirl costume underneath or you know, whatever you think looks a little more wizardy. I don't really know, but this is what I went with. This costume is perfect for last minute parties or plans or whatever. So you just take a dress and you cut it up and you add some eyeshadow on it to make it look kind of dirty or you know you can add some like fake blood and you can be a zombie or I don't know. It's scary though then yeah. <laughs> I feel like this costume is pretty popular. I was definitely this once for Halloween. It's really easy and it's really comfortable. So you just need a big bright sweatshirt. I cut the top so you could kind of like hang it off your shoulder which is what they did in the 80s I guess. I don't really know. And then wear some bright colorful leggings and some shorts. Oh and don't forget to put your ponytail on the side of your head. <laughs> This one is pretty easy if you already have this stuff laying around your house, obviously. So this wig just really gave me grandma vibes and so did this little shawl thing. It's crocheted, which is perfect. And then there's this boring old looking dress and a cane. You're a grandma, look at that. This one is so cute and so, so easy. All you need is a red and white polka dot dress and some ears. I got these, of course, from Disneyland. Obviously, the Minnie Mouse ears would work a little bit better, but girl, if you're running late and this is all you have, it totally works. All you need to pass as a 70s chick are patterned, flowy, high-waisted pants and a top that gives you 70s vibes. And there you go. It's very simple and cute. This one is pretty much just an example of making what you have work. So I had this NASA jacket and then the black jumpsuit I'm wearing underneath is actually from when I danced competitively and this is one of our costumes and both of them together just gave me like 
pilot slash astronaut vibes. I don't really know, but you know, it's last minute. So if you have this kind of stuff, it works. Now this last costume is probably my favorite because there are so many different pieces that go into it and it looks like you spent a lot of time on it, but actually this is so easy if you already have plaid and overalls. So you're a scarecrow and you really just need some eyeliner and lipstick for your face as I showed you guys in the last clips and you can wear some Timberlands or cowboy boots or whatever and there you have it, you're a scarecrow. So those were all of my DIY last minute Halloween costumes, but I want to know what you guys are going to be for Halloween. So you should totally leave me a comment down below. Also, if you're new to my channel, you should definitely subscribe because I post every single week. I don't usually post on Mondays, so I hope you enjoyed this surprise video. But anyway, I think that's all I have to say, so I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.